Welcome back, guys, for more Timberborn. In the last episode, we built the Giga Reservoir and the feeder canal system. In this, in this episode, we're going to answer two questions. Can we fill it up? And does it work? Let's find out. So here we are. We're at uh, cycle 110, day 22. We have uh, a little over 10 days to get this thing working. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge because there's a hell of a lot to do. Um, I'm going to pause the game while I show you what I've been planning out. So first of all, we've got to get the pumps working down here. We have um, three pumps on the outside, three pumps on the inside. I have laid them out how I want them. So yeah, this is going to take quite a bit of building. And what I want is for the building to be done by Beaver Castle. Now that's going to mean moving the Beaver Castle District Centre. I think we're going to have to move this a fair way up here. I'm going to try moving it up to this junction here initially. Like right like here is where it's going to go. Uh, and we'll see if that's enough. If it's not enough, then we'll move it up to the next junction and that should be enough. So that's step one. Step one is get the pumping working. Uh, step two. Oh. Once that's working, I'm going to turn on the second set of pumps. Yes, we're going to have both sets of pumps working and pumping water up into the reservoir up here. And I'll be interested to see. I'm expecting that we'll probably get a little bit of flooding down here um, with both pumps running. So uh, what I will most likely do is replace some of these levees uh, with platforms to just to create a little bit more room for the water. But this is a this is a three wide canal. It should handle the flow. It's just um, it's just how the how the system reacts to like a big dump of water initially. Okay, so that's that. Uh, I do need to uh, at some point get this water finished off, but <laughs> that's not really the priority. Who over here? Let's see. I'm I'm putting in uh, a bit of a bridge across here so that we can get to work on uh, on this stuff over here and they yes look he's got a log on his shoulder he's bringing the stuff down they're building this yeah we've already got six that's nine logs. good lord he was carrying three logs so we get some logs and planks down here get that built that'll be awesome oh look they're already coming round and building we've got to uh build this up a bit oh boy this is going to take some building so what we've got is the power coming out. So instead of taking it off the, off the center here, we're taking it from the other side of these pumps and running it underneath here. Then it gets stepped up and then split one to this, one to this, same on the other side. And uh, you can see we've just got a, we've just got a, a ramp and then a platform. A, a, a platform and then a staircase ramp going up here which splits off which should allow us to get everything built if we're in range if we're in range okay so they've removed all of this well done beavers okay let's uh let's try this you know what i'm gonna i think i'm gonna move it up here first uh and then if i don't need to i'll, I'll drag it backwards but I, i'm thinking we probably might need to be like right up here we'll see we'll see okay so beaver castle goes away awesome and what do i want parts and structures and a new district center flip it around and it goes in there okay let's see what the range is gonna be. oh well you know what we can't actually see the range haha <laughs> until we actually get this built well <laughs> this could go staggeringly wrong now do we still have range to everything yes we have range to down here that's fine we have rain oh we don't have range down to here oh okay so <laughs> okay in that case what i'm going to do temporarily 
is I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that grill. Get rid of that grill. Oh, nothing's ever easy, is it? We will get rid of... Let's see. I want to get rid of that, don't I? Yeah, okay. So... We'll move it back to here for now. It might... I mean, it might be enough. I don't think it... I think we're going to have to move it to there. But, you know. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, district center. So we'll put the district center in there. Now that should give us adequate range. Yes. Okay, so that works. Then we'll put the pass in around it then. Like that. Now the question is, can we get to the water? Oh, we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can get to everything. Okay. I think yeah, we, I mean, we've still got a little bit of range here. So, yeah, I think um, moving it to there is an option. I'll put this path back in because that's fairly critical. And, and yeah, we've got very, very good range down to there. Okay, this is, good. This is where this thing is going to end up. So, it's either going to be here or it's going to be like one block forward there. Oh, man. Okay, that's that. I think we'll crank it up now. Let's get that done first. Oh, look at this. These guys have actually got the first pump built. Good Lord. We're making progress. There's something, there's something very wrong. Okay, what else, um, what else can I do? Down here, right, so I haven't connected this to the, to the power yet. Uh, and I was trying to figure out exactly how I was going to do it. I guess, um, yeah. I guess we're going to run... Well, these are threes. Are they threes? Yeah. Threes across there. And then some ones on top. And then we run the power out here. Now, do we, how, do I, how do I hook it up? I guess I'm going to lift this path up for now. But look at this. They've got... We've, we've actually got a, a, a set of pumps if we had some power. And look, they're getting all of this built. Which, that's brilliant. That, that's actually much better than I thought this was going to go. Well done, beavers. But look, look how these guys have done a fabulous job. That's going to massively accelerate the, the process. I thought that these, these guys were going to have to do all of this, but look at this. That's very impressive. I can't wait for this to hook up to here and be able to see exactly what our range is going to be. I'm really hoping that they can get to, to all... Like, so I'm hoping they can get at least to this tile here and then they can complete all of this ho, 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 ho. how's the how's the water doing um the water inside the reservoir so just you know, a little look under here we've got about what two and a half tiles or something in here and then how's the water outside the water outside we're at 1.64, which means we've got just over two and a half tiles of water in here. So, yeah, so our water situation is looking good right now. When uh, when the, the wet season starts and we, we get water coming into here, the issue is going to be getting the water from the inside to the outside, but not flooding the outside. So we there's a there's a... An equilibrium that we need to establish between the two. Oh, look at this. We are getting our decorations done. Possibly the least important thing. <laughs> How are we doing with it? How are we doing with it? Oh, they're starting on the ascent of the staircase. Which is awesome. They've got a ways to go. Let's see. We've got 3.4 days till the water starts pouring in. Um, but th that's not really our limiting factor. Our limiting factor is like when we start running out of water here. So we will have uh, we will have some more time. We should have enough time to get these um, 
these outside pumps. Right th th now, I can pump water from here to the outside. I've got the, all the pumps right ready to go. The problem is if I start doing that and we get too much, can I pump the water back in? That's why we need all these pumps going. Uh, right, I need to set up the power and then I need to have a good look around and see if there's anything I've missed. So, yeah, let me get on with that. Just look at this. We've got 2.5 days left. They've almost done this. God, that was a big chunk to do. They've almost done it. Well done, barrel bots. Barrel bot, the builder. Can they fix it? Yes, they can. Oh, they've built that. Or a good lord, they threw that in quick. Oh, they have, they're, they're just they've just got to finish this bit over here. Um, it's um, it's relatively early in the morning here while while I'm recording this, and pictures just bought me my coffee, haven't you? I have, yes. You want to say good morning to the guys? Good morning. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, once we get that set up, then I'll transfer the uh, the, the the jobs from this distribution post. So this is uh, this is district 109. We'll do, we'll transfer the district 109 jobs over. To, oh, well they built it. Good lord. Now why is that saying? Oh, it's, don't tell me it's out of range. <laughs> it's out of range. If if I put a path there. Oh, now it's in range. <laughs> How close was that? We had one one tile to spare. My God! All right, let me get uh, let me get those jobs set up on here. Okay, the drought has just ended, and water's going to be bubbling up here any second. Here we go. Here comes the water. Everything's looking good. Yeah, everything's looking good. Right, how are we getting on to... Oh, they finished this? That was quick. Right, now... Well, no, that, no I thought they hooked it up, but... Let's have to take a look at the range. Oh. This might work. This might work. I, I'm still thinking we're going to have to move this forward to here. That, that's my strong belief. But we'll see. They're getting the next level done. Come on, guys, you can do this. Where's the water? The, oh, well, the water's come all the way along the canal and is emptying into the reservoir. Now, I guess the question is, like, how quickly does this fill up? Let's have a look. And... The answer is like not that quickly. I mean, I, I guess this is a this is a fair volume. Now, bear in mind, uh, it's only the water from this water source. Although this is our main water source, this is uh, this is four tiles here. One, two, no, five tiles. We've got five tiles providing water there, but we do also have up here somewhere. If I can find it. Uh, it must be these two. Yeah, we've got two water source tiles there providing us with water. And that water is coming in here and flowing down into here, down into the lower reservoir. So the lower reservoir should be filling up as well. What's, uh, what's it down to? It's not particularly low at the moment. We're at 1.31. And it, yeah, it is ticking up 1.32. How quickly is it ticking up 1.33? Yeah, so it's happening. So that's good. That's very good, actually. I am nervous as hell about this. Now, this is not getting built at the moment. So I'm thinking I probably need a little bit of scaffolding so that they can get out here and do this. There, that would be enough, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because they can build from that corner. And they should get this done pretty darn quickly, you'd think. How are we doing? How's the, how's the water coming along? Are we... Yeah, it's not filling up, like, alarmingly quickly or anything. So that's good. So I think we've probably got, like, a couple of seasons. At, well, 
Um, maybe more. But at least, I would think at least a couple of seasons before we fill this up. And how's the outside doing? We're uh, 1.58. So we've got over two and a half tiles of water. That would be enough to get us through a dry season. So, yeah, we've got some time. I, uh, yeah, I think we've got some time. The only problem is, oh, I, I forgot to put my, my little trick in, didn't I? Putting, putting those in so that they can build these ones on at the front. Right, that'll solve that problem. Aha! They're getting, oh, we're going to have power. We're going to have power. Hooray. We've got power. Almost. Not quite, Sky. <laughs> Calm down. Can they build that one from the from the? They should be able to build that from the corner, shouldn't they? Uh, they don't seem to be though. You know what? I'm not gonna. Well, it says they can build it. Ah, that. But they can't build that. Okay, fine. So they can build that, but they can't get to that. That's weird. And I don't really understand why that's the case. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, can I? Yeah, there we go. Pop that in, pop that in. Right, that will finally hook up the power. And at that point... Oh, no, we still need the power. Or oh, from here. We're, we're, we're so close. We just... Uh, yeah, we just need that bit. To, well, yeah, if I can click on it. We need... Come here, that bit done. Let's prioritise that. When that gets built... Are you working on it now? I think you are. No, you're not. <laughs> Come on. Three logs, damn you. Once that gets built, this pump will be working. What are they doing? They're, they're obviously building this platform here rather than building this. Uh, if they can get that built and we can get power to this pump... Right, we've got power, to, and it's pumping. Hooray! The thing is, it's not going to actually be pumping any water yet because I don't think the water level's high enough. No, not quite. There's a little gap. But that means that we can uh, keep this water from getting above three tiles high. Now, eventually, I want it three and a half tiles high. But for now, just controlling it at three tiles high is fine. That I can totally live with. We're, the other pump is connected. We have a working pump mechanism to get the water from here to here. I, I can't tell you how freaking happy that makes me. Alrighty. I think it's time to start pumping from here to here. Full bore. Should we, get, should we do it? Let's do it. Okay. You're turned on. And you'll turn on. And you. I love how it fills these. And, yep. and finally, you. Okay, now let's see if there's any change to the flow. Is this gonna is this gonna flood here? Not at the moment. Seems to be coping fine. Any flooding down here? Not at the moment. What's the level like here? Yeah, the level's basically the same as it always is, from what I can see. This is fine. Okay, well I guess everything's good. That was a little bit anticlimactic, wasn't it? I was expecting some some crazy flooding or something to go on. My God, this is this is very cool. What's coming in here? Going into here, being pumped up to the reservoir, flowing down, and then potentially getting pumped back up here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the level. So we're at 1.87, 1.88. When that gets to two, this will start pumping. Oh. 
That's pumping. Look, we've got water. We've got what? I'm so excited. We've got water. We've got water being pumped into here. Only occasionally. Oh, that is. Okay, should I have water? Yes, we've got water again. <laughs> oh man, this is the best thing ever. Seriously, I've I've had this idea for the Giga Reservoir for ages and ages and ages. Like like going back to the the fairly early stages of this. Like it was when I was doing this, I was thinking of like, well, what if I had a massive reservoir and but I could never kind of wrap my brain around well, how do I like have a like a consistent level down here and a cons like consistent level up here and handle the flows and which way would it go and because for example um in the even in the last episode i was saying that i would have a wall across here and a wall across here and the, the water on either side would be at three and a half tiles and the water in here would be at three tiles uh, but actually that doesn't work it works on this side because we're we're pumping the water up it flows down into here comes around here and when it gets over three and a half tiles it empties into here and gets pumped back in and pumped around again doesn't work on this side though does it because there's there's no water going into here so i realized that i have to change that and instead of having a wall across here and a wall across here which would have been nice and simple uh, i'm actually going to have to have a wall coming out there and around all three pumps with uh, with a dam so i think i'm going to need to extend this out a tile or two yeah i'm thinking like two two tiles i mean maybe even three but look at this you know what we need these other pumps because <laughs> i don't think this is going to keep up a single pump wow the, okay, the water is definitely rising now. Look at this. What are we up to? Like one, two, three, four, maybe four and a half. Five. Well, I can count it over here, can't I? Because we've got two there and three. So we're over five tiles deep now. Woohoo! Man, I need to get dynamiting this. Wow. We're getting this stuff. Oh, I, I can check the range now. Yes, we're connected. Let's check the range. This is the big one. How, oh, look at this. So our red line goes all the way up here. So, yeah, we're going to... Yes, the, the range extends beyond this point. So that's going to go out beyond this point. We can do everything. <laughs> what, how is everything going so well? I don't understand. And that's... That's without moving it to the, the forward spot. That's brilliant. Oh, this is going better than I could possibly have hoped. What's going to go wrong? Something's going to go wrong. Where are we? We're... Okay, we're 0 0.2 days, 0 0.1 day from the drought starting. Oh, look at that. I can't wait for this to get up to the top. Oh, this is going to be epic. Okay. Um, there's still quite a bit to do. Oh, we've got our decoration bits done. We can get rid of those. I can... Uh, oh, no. I've still got some other things that I need to do. Um, so, I'm trying to decide for these decorations. Um, I'm going to put... Where are we? I'm going to put dams um, at the top of the wall to allow, when this is full, for water to flow over. But what I don't know is, do I put the dam so that the water falls into the centre there? Or do I put the put it so that it falls onto there and there? And I can't decide. And I've also thought about having, having it in the middle so it falls to here. Um, and then swapping the position of these. So this one is a tile higher. These two are a tile lower so that the water goes into here and then cascades down here and have like a couple of beaver statues um where are we uh decorations and 
like a couple of beaver statues like there and there and have the water come down yeah there's I, there's all kinds of things that i can play around with um, which i'm very excited to do well we're about i don't know almost 10 days into this cycle and everything is going so smoothly i'm terrified i'm just terrified that i'm missing something enormous don't think i am but yeah i can't shake the feeling yeah everything's everything's just really smooth at the moment okay let's um let's get some stuff done so i've started laying in dynamite let's get these done both ends and we'll get this one done as well we'll lay in the next bit of dynamite i'm going to bring it back to here uh, and get rid of this one as well because we need the space we need the space so that all of that and that one uh let me get the terraforming that i want to get done here done uh yeah i'm gonna yeah th like this is gonna get dynamited back to to this level so to this level but at the back i want it a little bit higher so let's uh let's do it Should, just don't talk about it let's go do it uh what do i want landscaping terrain blocks so how are we going to do it well, i guess we'll do it that way so what do we think that like that far out for yeah maybe four yeah so we'll come out four and that can go to be honest like like all the way across here what's uh what's the right oh we got loads of range haven't we if i extend this path then we're gonna have all the range in the world let's bring it way up there okay what if was oh good lord we can get right out here i think it's kind of nice to have a a bit of a wall so that you're not just like falling off the edge of the world yeah yeah we'll extend that down there um but it's a it's a bit even at the moment i don't really want it to be like too even you know what get it built let's get this built and then i'll see i don't know maybe i can think of some um some decorative things that i can do to uh, to break it up and make it look better that's fine that, that should work so we are going to need a path going down here then I'm, I'm just wondering if um if i ex like extend that along there i you know what get this built first sky don't don't plan too far ahead you you might get something to work if you did that let's do the first part of this housing project which is nothing to do with housing what i was thinking of doing uh, which side am I going to do it on? Because I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. Uh, this is going to involve a lot of moving stuff around. Okay, uh, let me show you what I what I intend to do. And it's going to be really fiddly uh, with moving things around and stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out that path there. And I'm going to have to get rid of some of these dandelions. Would almost have been easier to do it on the other side but i've got to take the healer and move the healer again <laughs> what i'm going to do is put storage in so let's see a uh, small warehouse flip it around what i'm thinking of doing is doing a tower of storages here uh, to get up to the top level but i need to kind of play around with this i think what we're going to do is maybe have them like stack I, I don't know i kind of sort of maybe staggered back so the first one would be further out and then maybe we have two and then it goes back one and until we get to the top level why are you doing this guy because i'm gonna get rid of this and i need to get rid of one more which will be that one i guess delete that to expose this building um in fact i could have the top one actually backed up against that yeah so maybe you know what let's let, let, let's do it and see what it looks like i guess um what do i want i want to demolish those three sections there 
Yeah, okay. What I'm thinking of doing is so have that there. Now that means that it's connected to this building for power. So then we step these down. Um, so we've got power down to this level. Now I'm going to do the same on this side. So we've got power down to this level. What I'm then thinking is to have a housing project which is built into here to transfer the power all the way down to here so I can rip out all of this hideous spaghetti. That's what I'm thinking about. But like for right now, maybe I just get the storage done. Oh, I hope I don't destroy my dandelion crop. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to move the dandelion somewhere else. Well, I better get on with it then. You see, this is how things get complicated. So I was going to put it. I was going to put them here, and then I was like, yeah, but you know what? Because if I stagger them forward, then I can have the path going round. And then I was like, yeah, well. Mm. See, maybe, actually, it would look better if I moved it over one. <laughs> so then, then I've got to move the story. Oh, it just gets completely out of hand. Let's get rid of that and that. Right, all that stuff's moved. Do you ever find your designs just getting ever more complex and ambitious? Because <laughs> that's what's happening with this. Because I was just looking at this and I was thinking, well, if I'm coming out that far, then... And maybe, what if I put one small house, warehouse pointing that way and one pointing that way, then set that back one, then have um, some platforms there. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, um, well, I don't know. We'll see. And um, yeah, no, um, if that one's, yeah, no, no, it's going to work. It's, it's actually going to work. Why is everything working today? Things don't normally work. That goes in there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually going to work. That one goes there, and that one goes on the top. Oh, good lord. Look at this, though. Look at this. We're empty. We're at 1.1 days for the water to arrive. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, this is, this is down a bit. Where are we? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we're at 1.39. So we've got 2.39 tiles of water. Yeah, we need, we need some water to arrive. Like, ASAP. Wow. But if you, well, yeah, no, I mean, if you think about it, no, that's fine. I mean, this was a fairly long drought. This was like 27 day drought or something. So, yeah. Let's hope we get um, plenty of water coming. Uh, they've got uh, they've got the middle set of pumps done. They can't do anything because the, they can't reach the water. <laughs> but it, that's all good. And over here. Good luck. They've done all of that. Well, I need to get on to the next bit then. Well, the next bit is going to be extending out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Everything's just going so smoothly. Let's see. What do I want to do? I want to do kind of a... Um, no, I, I was going to say I need to do a, a, a little bit of time. No, I don't. I can go like... Let's go right up to the dynamite on both sides. Yay. Then we throw in some terrain blocks now the, the, my only question is like am i just going to go to two or am i going to go to uh, another one no i think I, no i need to no that gets me up to there i don't really need to go up another level but i think i'm going to yeah i'm probably going to go yeah because i'm going to raise this up one more yeah 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 it's fine it's fine i forget i forget my plans i've got so many of them And I do realise that I overextended there. Okay, right. We'll get we'll get on get on working on. It. Look, they're already throwing them in. They're so quick. I'm just trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to do this staircase. 
I, I think I know how I'm going to do it. We'll, but we'll see. Let's get started and we'll see how it works out. So, do I want to start from that side or this side? And I think we'll start from this side. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a fairly, a fairly traditional staircase going up like this. So, um, staircase, three um, single platforms, staircase. Then it's all going to be double platforms. So, that'll come around there. Uh, I need to put my paths in as I go. So we'll have paths there, paths there, and the next staircase. Flip you around. And then, boom, boom, boom. And staircase flipped around, and the paths. Cool. And then, let's see, where do we need to go? We only need to go up to that level. In fact, don't need that don't need that awesome path along there gets us into there cool and then uh am i gonna do it that yeah let's do it that way so we'll have path going into there that works and then we have a double there and that gets us into there Okay. The drought has ended and the water has arrived. Should be bubbling up as we speak. There it comes. It's much needed. Let's see, where, where are we at? Where's our water level at? Our water level's like pretty healthy. We've got 2.3 tiles of water in here. Now, obviously, we don't have any water in here at all. But we do have the reservoir up here. But it's fine because Yeah, this is this is still running. I haven't I haven't changed the floodgates or anything. It looks like it's slowing down though. But yeah, everything's still running at this point. Where's the water? Oh, and the water is just arriving. Wow. Okay, so we had continuous service the whole time. Here comes the water. Now, it's going to be interesting to see this season, like, how much we fill up. So, I guess we'll let it run, and we'll find out. Here's the finished structure. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. I kind of like that. Um, so, I think for the roof... Uh, maybe I put a couple of little roofs like that and then I want um, this one don't I there yeah yeah that would work we we only had we're on day eight we only had six days of uh, water which was not great but but we did fill up a, a decent amount Oops, I don't know if I can see if I can see. So that this is two. So I, I reckon we got a good four tiles of water. But it's only like an 18 day drought. 18, 19, no, 19. 19 day drought? Yeah, 19 day drought. So I'm just now I'm just gonna run it on because I wanna see where we end up with the water and whether we can actually start at, like actually filling this up. Which um is kind of the priority. The good news is this is uh this is back up to three three tiles deep we're pumping pumping away on all three pumps now look at this pumping it into here that's awesome my god this is like seriously if we can actually fill this up then this is just awesome well the drought is almost over now any second now and how are we doing for water well the good news is we've got almost well, over half a tile of water. So, we've ended this drought with more water than we ended the last drought. And that is positive progress. So, I'm hoping that we can actually get a, a, a few, like an extra day or two of, uh, of water. And actually start like filling it up. We'll let this fill up. And, and we'll just see how many days of water we, we get. And, uh, and 
how high we can actually fill this up. Well, the good news is that we got an extra day of rain or an extra day of water. So water situation looking very good. We're, I don't know how many tiles we've got, but uh, I would say, well, actually I do know, four, about four and a half uh, with two more days of water to come. So that's really great. What's not so great is look at our batteries. Now, okay, they are, they are climbing up a bit at the moment, uh, slowly. If we look over here, these batteries were completely drained. Again, they're, they're starting to come back now. But that's with uh, the windmills doing like 250 horsepower. Now, their max is 400. The average we get from them is about 200. Uh, so this is not a good situation. And the problem is we've just got too much of a power drain. Let's just click on here. Uh, we've gone up from 20,000. And now it's at night time. It's, it's over 30,000 during the day but yeah to, to all the, to the people in the comments who are like oh my god why are you building all this power that you don't need yeah i need it and i need more so i'm thinking we'll probably be extending this out another couple of modules okay the drought is about to end drought ended so where have we ended up we have ended up with one, two, three, four, I would say close to four tiles of water. <laughs> now, the eagle-eyed of you, of you will have uh, spotted some stuff going on under here. Oh, yeah, because we're laying in dynamite. Because remember, we want to go down two tiles. But, wow. I can't wait to see how much water we get and how high our water stocks get in here. I have put in the dams above our water features. I'm just going for the central one so that it cascades down here. I think it will cascade to here and then I think it will go onto these as well as this. We'll see, um, we'll see what it looks like if and when it happens because it's not going to happen anytime soon. Right, water's coming down, water's pouring in. All we've got to do now is see how long the water lasts and how high we actually get. Okay, the drought is about to start. There it is. Boom, drought started. Pause the game. Let's have a look. How much water have we got? We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles of water. Almost, almost eight tiles of water. That's so good. I tell you what, that's happened so much faster than I thought it was going to happen. I thought it would take ages to get this full. That is two thirds full. Remember, dynamite down two levels, and then we've got another one, like two tiles. It'll actually be one and a half because we'll uh, we'll be overflowing from here, and primarily overflowing into our long-term storage reservoir whoo man this is uh, this is going crazy well the only thing is the power we need more power now you may you may look at this and go well yeah gravity batteries are like right back up to the top yeah i have had to manage the power a little bit like right now um because these are flooded and therefore they're not going to be used uh, i've turned those four off so that's saving us uh one two three four that's uh 2800 power um yeah i've had to manage been turning various things like on and off uh specifically when the wind stops when the wind's blowing everything's absolutely fine we've got tons of power it's when the wind stops completely then then things can get a little bit dicey so we need a little bit more power i'm thinking i'm thinking one maybe two more modules uh, and we'll be like totally good to go uh, until i come up with the next project which requires a ton of power oh yeah that'll be this long-term water storage reservoir because that's going to need a ton of power as well so <laughs> it never ends does it but you know what the giga reservoir is done it's done and it works look at this water level this water level is just 
pretty much constant. We're at 2.25 over here. And consequently, over here, we are pumping up the water. And the water is coming into here. Let's see if I can get, get all three. There we go, all three. Let's turn that off. This is what I've wanted, it's like, like right from the beginning, because now I just don't have to worry about water. My level here is all, always constant. My level here for my water pumps is always constant. And I've got plenty of water. Wow. Guys, <laughs> I'm going to say it. Sky's the limit now. There's, pff, what do you want to do with the rest of the map? We turn the whole place into a pleasure park. <laughs> oh, there's, there's, there's still tons we can do. Uh, leave me your comments. Give me your ideas. And I'll see what I can do. I'll catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.